A popular American sports book has released season win totals on a few of the more interesting college teams for the 2023 season. Now, obviously, on this show, we talk about BetUS, but here is what's out so far. We'll, we'll just go through this. Uh, there are nine teams that they have come out with. We'll start with the SEC. Georgia, their win total is 11.5. The over is plus 116. The under is minus 142. Of course, to go over, uh, Georgia would have to go 12 and 0. Georgia, their schedule is a joke. Like, this should be an O. Honestly, they'll be double-digit favorites in every regular season game. Uh, it's juiced, but who? Uh, odds are they will probably, uh, because of win probability and whatnot, they'll, they'll probably lose a game somewhere. They didn't last year. Just throwing it out there. Tennessee's over-under is 9.5. The over is plus 146. The under is minus 188. The question here, of course, what is Tennessee with Joe Milton? Which version of him are we going to get? They beat Clemson in the Orange Bowl, but if you look back at that game, Clemson could not finish drives. The Tigers outgained the Vols by over 100 yards in that game. They had two turnovers. They were terrible with scoring opportunities. Like, do we have definitive proof that the defense is going to be improved for Tennessee this year? Like, what about the offensive line? They're, they're only returning 63% of the snaps, and they're number 99 in the country in offensive returning production. So if you bet the over, you're really just betting on hype. Uh, that's, I'm a little, I'm a little bit concerned there. Georgia. Excuse me. Nope. LSU. We're moving on to LSU. We already hit Georgia. LSU is eight and a half. Uh, they're, you know, to go over eight and a half is minus 132. To go under is plus 108. Uh, of course, the over is juiced here. This is a preseason top 10 team. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it's not more. Like, they restocked their secondary through the transfer portal. They got two starting quality uh, quarterbacks. The offensive line looks legit. Malik Neighbors is back. Mason Smith should be back healthy. Uh, they still got that violent demon, <laughs> Harold Perkins. And the schedule is not absurd. Like Florida State neutral, road games at Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Missouri, and Bama. Uh, they got Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, and AM at home. Like this thing should be nine and a half, honestly. All right, now we'll move on to the Big Ten team. Let's start with these two. Michigan is 10 and a half. The over is plus 116. The under is minus 142. And I'm going to go on and add this one in there with it. Ohio State's is also 10 and a half, but it is juiced a lot differently. The over is minus 115. The under is minus 105. Michigan is number five in the country in early returning production. And yet, even with their joke of a non-conference schedule, they are juiced significantly to the under, while Ohio State, who lost their quarterback along with several other high-profile stars, is juiced to the over. Like, it just shows the difference in the talent disparity between the two squads. Like, I don't really have a feel on either of these yet. I haven't really been diving into the Big Ten, but uh, but that is a very interesting discrepancy there. Penn State's over-under is 9.5. Uh, the over is minus 108. The under is minus 112. I'm not going to lie. I love the Nittany Lions this year. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but uh, I expect this team to be awesome. I expect them to be awesome. Iowa's win total, 8.5. Over is plus 134. The under, minus 164. Like, raise your hand if you've got faith in Brian Ferentz's offense to win nine games. <laughs> I know... I know that they're bringing in the transfer from Michigan, Cade McNamara. But, man, that offense had more wrong than just a quarterback, I think. Uh, and now they're losing a bunch of receivers and tight ends, blah, 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 blah. All right, continuing on, uh, we have an independent team and a Pac-12 team. Notre Dame is 8.5. Uh, over and under both are sitting at minus 110. Sam Hartman should be awesome here, but obviously the question is, who is he going to throw to? Uh, are they going to change their offense philosophy? If so, is that going to help or hurt? Like, the schedule includes... Uh, games at NC State, Ohio State, at Louisville, uh, excuse me, at NC State, Ohio State, at Louisville, USC, Pitt, and at Clemson. I think the number looks about right because uh, you would expect them to lose at least three of those six. Like if this thing is sitting at eight and a half, do they go nine and three or do they go eight and four? I mean, that, that's the question, right? So I'm very curious about that one. All right. And then over to the Pac-12, Colorado. Their win total sits at four and a half. Now the over is plus 114. The under is minus 138. I know that there is a lot of hype on Colorado, but this team won one game last year. Like, the talent has been upgraded. Deion Sanders is doing his thing. It's basically a completely different team, but that's a long way to jump. Like, you open at TCU and then at home against Nebraska, and then the first three conference games are at Oregon, USC, and at Arizona State, while you've also got to play at UCLA, at Washington State, and at Utah later on in the year. Like, these are all difficult places to play. There's a reason why the under is juiced here. That's going to be a tricky situation. I'm very curious to see what that roster ends up looking like. Just, just to see. Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures.
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.